when the leftists came to power in 1977, and incidentally, they were also all scheduled castes, almost all scheduled castes. So in, when the leftists came to power in 1977, these people thought that these leftists had been telling us earlier that they will give us rehabilitation in West Bengal. So we must demand rehabilitation in West Bengal. They will suddenly give it to us. Then they sold everything that they had in Dandakarane and they, they traveled in trains to Kolkata. Jyoti Basu, the chief minister, he said, nothing doing, you go back. Complete volte face. And these people are not prepared to go back. They, were, they had burnt their boats. So they decided that they will do something for themselves and they sailed in boats to a river and island called Marichapi in the Sundarban Delta. And there they tried to set up agriculture. Then the Jyoti Basu's government, they sent both the police and CPM gundas to beat them out of that place. They besieged the place with the result that that water is brackish, you know. You can't get, don't have uh, drinking water over there. Drinking water has to be brought in uh, boats from the mainland. They stopped the, the supply of drinking water. Little children had died in front of their parents' eyes. And the parents also, when they tried to swim across, then they were eaten up by uh, crocodiles or estuarine sharks. And they were all driven out of that place. The press was completely shut out of this process. This tragedy of Marijapi, almost a genocide, it is now coming to the fore only now. But um, the, because the media, are, uh, media and the certain class of media professionals are dominated by the leftists, this is not uh, coming out as well as it should. They did murders. Murders galore. Just to give you one example, right in the middle of Kolkata, on the 30th of April, 1982, absolutely, as they say in Hindi, Deen Dahari, 17 Ananda Margi monks were doused in kerosene and set on fire. Unbelievable. Right in the middle of Kolkata, in a place called Bijan Setu, right next to Baliganj Railway Station, 17 Anandamargi monks were set on fire, were doused in kerosene and set on fire. Then a uh, uh, OC of a Tiljala Thana. A Tiljala is a police station. OC means what is what you call an SHO in uh, Delhi. This OC, he was shot at point blank range by a CPM uh, goon. A couple of CPM goons came there, just shot him and went away. And nobody had so far been convicted. Then in 1990, one of the most horrible things to happen, the most horrible things to happen, two women officers of the West Bengal government, and one of them belonged to UNICEF, I think, some uh, you know, international agency. <laughs> they had gone on some uh, family planning uh, mission to some remote area. And when they were returning, they were accosted by the, the uh, they were accosted by a crowd. And this crowd uh, started threatening them. Then the driver started, it was a Maruti van, you know, very unstable thing. So when the driver started uh, trying to escape, but the van overturned. Then these people came and caught these two ladies, they raped them, they gang raped them, and they killed the driver mercilessly, horribly. And they not only gang raped the women, they did such things that defy description. I can't say it. But I just tell you how horrible it was that when these ladies, their bodies went for postmortem, the postmortem surgeon, who are normally very hardened people, postmortem surgeon uh, fainted at the sight of what had been done to one of these women. They were government officers. No conviction. No one has been convicted because the government, the, the machinery, the administration, the police, they were all absolutely in cahoots with the political party. They were all politicians. This thing kept on going one after another. This incident that I have referred to you is called Bantala incident. 
before Bantala, there was this um, Anandamargi incident, then Bantala, then Chota Angarya, then uh, Netai, all these things, they happened. And finally, of course, in 2011, they were ousted from power. 